Hey everybody, what's going on? It's Elementary Mitch, and today what I wanna do is just get you started with VEX123 robots. These are really cool, mostly meant for the lower grades like K1 and 2. So today what I wanna do is just get you started. Just get this thing out and figure out how some of the basic controls are, and then later on we'll get into more complex projects. But today, let's go ahead and just see how this thing works. Okay, hopefully your VEX123 robot is charged. And to just get this thing started, you're just going to take this and then just roll it on. And that should turn this thing on. And let's just go over the controls that are on this robot. So you definitely have uh, the sound capability of being able to hear uh, when you press the buttons. We have a left, we have a right, and we have a forward. And so um, that's basically it. This thing if, can be controlled. Um, using the app and different other controls, but today I'm just showing you how do you control this thing here on the robot. So let me just do a forward. And if you want to get rid of a previous program, you just shake it and you'll hear a sound saying that it just wiped. Let's go ahead and say I wanted to do two forwards. And then I'll just press this middle button. Give it some time. And there's my two forwards. And if you heard that, it'll have some kind of da da sound that tells you that it's over. Okay, let's run that again. And if you want to get rid of a program, you're just going to give it a shake. And it just cleared it. Uh, let's go ahead and do a forward, forward, whoops. And then a right turn and another two forwards. Let's see how that goes. And there you go. So what's really neat is just the different options that you have. Once the students learn the controls, um, you know, what else can we do? There's so many other options and controls that the kids can maneuver their robot around. But today, that's basically it. Just getting you started, turning it on, turning it off, clearing the program, and then just the basic controls of the VEX123 robot. And if you want to turn this off, you'll just long press this start button and it should turn off. Okay guys, so hopefully um, I helped you get started uh, with the VEX123 robot. Um, again, it's usually for the lower grades, K1 and 2, but definitely feel free to challenge maybe the upper grades and kind of up the rigor um, with them if you want to use these robots. Uh, but they're really super neat. Um, again, it's going to help them uh, problem solve. It's going to help them just sequence in their head. And this is what we want. We want them to just develop those coding skills. Um, it being able to visualize a path, uh, problem solve obstacles. So this is just a really great tool uh, for those of you that are teaching STEM, robotics, and also you can incorporate other things like storytelling, math, uh, language arts, where you might use this now for letters and words and sentences like that. So the possibilities are endless. Okay, guys, hopefully you enjoyed this video. Uh, I will see you in my next video.